All right, folks, welcome to Onshape. Onshape, <laughs> what the heck is it? So this is a three-dimensional CAD modeling software. You'll be able to produce parts, kind of like I have here. This is actually a uh, three parts. We've got a, we've got a chainsaw, an assembly you can see. There is a 16-inch saw. There is a safety switch. And then there is a trigger. And those are three parts that are built in this model. What the heck is a part? Well, a part is one thing that can't be broken down into smaller pieces without and still be what it is. So a screwdriver, for example, has two parts. you got the handle and the blade. Uh, if you take the handle apart, then you don't have a handle anymore. Here, we've got a chainsaw, and we've got the orange part, and we've got the black parts. And... In this case, I actually have the blade as part of the orange part. I just colored it differently. Um, to make something like this, we start with things called sketches. Uh, a sketch is nothing more than a two-dimensional drawing on a flat plane. And then we do what's called extruding to make that into a 3D part. So here you can see that first component stretched into a 3D part, and that's what's making the blade of this chainsaw model. Uh, whenever you create a part, you do so in what's called a tab, and down here you can see I have several tabs for the different parts I'm working on. I click a new tab, I can click create part studio, and I'm in a blank environment where I can add new parts. To create a new part, I just start by creating a sketch, choose a plane that I want to put it on. Uh, if I tap the N key, I can look normal, flat at that thing. And I, by toggling the P key on the keyboard, I can turn those planes on and off so I don't have to look at them when they're, once I've created my sketch. You draw the shape that you want to create. And once you've created that shape, just hit that Finish button. And you can extrude that part, that shape that you just created, into a 3D object. So sketches are two-dimensional geometry, and extrusions are three-dimensional geometry. You can see everything you do in the browser on the left-hand side. So I've got the features list. And I've got my parts list. If I come on over here to an assembly, or a, not a part assembly, but a model that I constructed. This is a part studio for the sawmill that I constructed. And you can see that we have all of the features, starting with the original work planes, and then the first sketch, and then subsequent extrusions, so sketch extrude, sketch extrude, and add other features. And that adds parts. Each part that I build, each individual part, is listed in the parts list at the bottom. And those can be constructed into assemblies. So I can bring the parts that I make into an assembly. So you can see here that I brought that sawmill and the chainsaw and this log all in together to make one assembly. And with that, I can do animations and other modeling parts that I want. So I can make you know, parts for video games, or parts for movies, or parts for 3D printing, or parts to send off to be machined using machining techniques. Uh, I can produce the drawings to manufacture these parts. I can do all sorts of awesome things with this software. So just a quick overview of what we're seeing here. I've got parts, which are the individual components that we build, like this board. I've got sketches, which are the two-dimensional geometry that defines the parts. We've got extrusions and other features that turn two-dimensional geometry into three-dimensional geometry. We've got 
individual parts, which are those components that can't be broken down into anything smaller and still be themselves. So you know, in my case, I've got a saw, a safety switch, and a trigger. Uh, we've got tabs, and tab, tab us between old tab, tab us between different models or parts of the pieces of the model. There's a log. We've got a features list showing us all the features we've created. So in this case, we've got you can see that I created a sketch one and extrude one. Sketch one being the circle on the end, and extrude one being the cylinder extruded from that circle. There's my parts list showing everything that we created as a part. And then to do all of those things, we have tools. And the tools all reside up in this toolbar up at the top. So I've got the features toolbar, which you see here, which has all the different types of features I can do. So the first basic one we talk, the feature we talked about is the extrude. But there are other features we'll learn about later, such as revolves, sweeps, lofts, and fillets. Uh, and then, when, of course, when you want to create a sketch, the toolbar switches from the features toolbar to the sketch toolbar so that you have all of the different sketch geometry that there is to choose from. And, of course, you can go back to your document toolbar up at the top to see your original menu options back to the main on shape. Or if you go into, when you go back into those individual documents, you can click the document menu to make changes to the components in there, like the measurements or other properties of the workspace. Up here in the right hand corner, you can see that we have a, what's called the view cube. I can actually drag that view cube over to the center so you can see it a little better. The view cube has six sides to it. Uh, they're named front, top, left, right, bottom, back. And you can see between the view, you, uh, between the, <laughs> between the top and the front and the right on the corners of the cube, there are buttons there which allow us to click and tab between the, the 3D versions of the view. We can right click and drag around as well to orbit. You can scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And you can click the mouse wheel to drag or pan around the screen. Your profile, your user profile is up in the upper right hand corner of the screen. If you want to edit anything about that, like adding a, an avatar or updating your username, if you made a mistake there or something like that when you set up your account. That's how you do that. And of course the learning center is right up here so you can go in and find out a whole lot more about Onshape than I can share with you in a 10 minute video. Be sure to try this and have a lot of fun. You can create some really amazing things. I've been enjoying Onshape for over a year now and I've been playing with different CAD software since the early 1990s, and Onshape is probably my favorite CAD software I've come across yet. So have fun, create cool stuff, and as always, keep being awesome.